The Aeronautics and Cosmonautics Romanian Association, or ARCA, is from Romania and led by Dimitru Popescu. ARCA was also a contender in the Ansari X Prize. Please welcome Dimitru. Good morning. We are pleased to announce today the first Google Lunar X Prize spaceflight. The European lunar lander, ELL, ARCA's lunar vehicle for this competition, will make the flight. We would also want to announce a partnership between Pablo de Leon and ARCA for this flight. ELL will be carried in space at an altitude of 100 kilometers by the Stabilo booster rocket that has been in development for two years and has completed a series of successful flights. The tests are in progress, and the flight, called Mission 4 ELL, will be launched in three months from now from a location that will be later disclosed. The Stabilo rocket will be lifted up to an altitude of 18 kilometers by the world's largest Montgolfier solar balloon. At that height, the Stabilo rocket engine will be ignited and will take the ELL to an altitude of 45 kilometers and a speed of 4,600 kilometers per hour. The remaining 55 kilometers will be of inertial flight. Once in space, ELL will execute several avionic system tests, take measurements, photos, and transmit live video to Earth. The Stabilo and ELL will land on the sea. Thank you. Our next team, Lunatrex, is from the United States and is a collaboration of individuals, companies, and universities from around the country. Representing their team here today is Mary Cafasso. Please welcome her. Thank you and good morning. Team Lunatrex is a consortium of aerospace business companies and professionals whose main objective is to provide repeatable, sustainable, affordable access to space. We believe that low-cost access to space will accelerate new technology development, innovation, exploration, and a new revolution in commercialization of space. We know this to be possible because many of us here have lived this truth. The global communication infrastructure that we all enjoy today was a result of pioneering space exploration of a half a century ago. Many new companies, new markets, and new services were provided and still thrive today based on those risky business plans. I am proud to have been a part, a very small part, of that great accomplishment, and we invite everyone else to be a part of this great accomplishment. From all around the world, we invite you to join the team, to share the excitement that only a pioneering adventure like Google Lunar X Prize can provide. So come enjoy the journey with us and help create the dawn of a new space age. Thank you very much. We'd like to now introduce another team from the United States called Quantum 3. Please welcome their team leader, Paul Carliner. Thank you, Bob, and good morning. 47 years ago, President John F. Kennedy, in the middle of the Cold War, announced the first race to the moon. And this morning, on behalf of Quantum 3, and I think all of us here, I want to extend our thoughts and prayers to his heir, Senator Edward M. Kennedy, and wishing him a very speedy and swift recovery and good wishes to him and to his family. We formed Quantum 3 for the simple reason of not going to the moon, but to transform the very paradigm of space exploration. What had previously been the province of governments, now we have the opportunity to make the province of people. This risk is really not about technology, it's not about landing on the moon, it's about the people who are engaged in this effort, and the telling of their story, and the ability to inspire and engage a whole new generation of people around the world to get them interested in science and technology, 
to spur new efforts in these areas and to create a new awareness of our ability to explore other bodies. We believe this is ultimately what this is all about. This is why our company was formed. We're going to seek to engage the widest possible and the most diverse group of people in this effort and to tell their stories. I want to thank everyone for being here this morning and we look forward to future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Next is Team Chanda, which means moon in Sanskrit. Chanda is led by Adil Jafri, an energy industry entrepreneur whose goal is to catalyze the commercialization of space, starting with the development of his lunar lander. Please welcome Adil Jafri. Thank you very much, Paul. First, I would like to thank uh, Google, the XPRIZE Foundation, and the ISU for hosting this team summit. As some of you may know, the vision for Team Chanda was born uh, five months ago upon a chance reading of the GLXP team press release. Uh, of course, I grew up on the notion that humanity is destined to travel to moon, and my reasons for participating were as much personal for my own children as for myself. Uh, as a businessman entering this race, I had tremendous trepidations, as I'm sure some of you other entrepreneurs who are now entering the race might have had. Uh, you know, I run a mid-sized company in Houston, and organizing a competent, technologically savvy team that can ultimately go to moon and make all this happen was clearly something that I had tremendous questions about. But five months into it, I've had tremendous fun. On the recommendation of Bob Richards here, I actually attended this uh, executive space course at ISU, and it was a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Met, met tremendous uh, talent from across the world and uh, got to learn finer aspects of, uh, of space and technology, uh, which is very, very important, of course. Um, ultimately, I think that uh, you know, uh, to, to, to be successful, uh, you'd obviously need a stellar rover, the launch services and communication, but on the backs of that, uh, one needs to come up with a very strong business case for sustainable, repeatable venture. And you've heard that consistently today so far. Uh, for space to get commercialized, uh, ultimately, I think that a repeatable uh, you know, process needs to be pulled together. Uh, and finally, I would like to congratulate uh, Google, the XPRIZE, and ISU for having inspired me to come into this, uh, into this race and to enter this race. And for all of those of you all who, need to get, who, who feel that you all want to get involved, Please do so, the time is now. So thank you. Yeah. Two of the teams we announced in February weren't able to be with us today, but both asked us to convey their best wishes to each of the other teams. The first is Team Italia, a group of Italian aerospace and engineering universities in Italy, plus two of the major Italian aerospace companies. The Naples-based International Association for the Aerospace Culture is serving as coordinator for Team Italia. The second is Team Microspace, led by Richard Speck. Microspace was involved with the Ansari X Prize and is also com a competing team for the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge.